And the last one. And slowly bring your feet down. Put your tuck your knees to your chest and here deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. I already feel like really warm with my body, like something burning already. Xinjiao, welcome to Moving Mango and welcome back to our Mango Crush series that I upload weekly on Monday and today we are going to crush the total body with 20 minute cardio pilates so if you're ready just roll your mat and let's do it together Alright, now let's start by allowing yourself to sit tall with your back in neutral, pull the belly button in, chest open and shoulders down. We're going to warm up a little bit before we start the main workout. So arms to the side, inhale and reach your hand to one side. Now come back to the opposite side and five more times each side here with your own breath. So keep breathing, four, belly button in, try to pull the belly button towards the spine and lengthen your neck, look towards the front. And two more times each side here with your own breath. And last one, inhale and exhale to the opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center. Now start to rotate your arms 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then reverse. You can always bend your knees, open your legs, hip with the part if it's easier for your lower back here and to lengthen your spine. And then now inhale lengthen again pull the belly button in bring your hands behind your head i want you to inhale bring your arms your head your torso to one side press your sitting bones down to the mat and now lengthen your arms and to the sides here and then come back to the opposite side inhale and lengthen and then come back and back to the center two more times each side here with your own breath do it slowly and keep breathing very good now last one, inhale. I really love this stretching and warm up movement because it's gonna work your whole arms, shoulders and your waist at the same time. And slowly, last time to the opposite side. And come back to the center, very good hands on your knees here. Now you wanted to rotate your shoulders fully to four directions. And then reverse. Now bring your head to one side. You can use your hand to pull your head a little bit further and then come back to the opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center. Look down to the mat and then up and come back to the center and now allow yourself to come to the main workout here. So forearms down to the mat, shoulders on top of your elbows here. Now hips on top of your knees and I want you to inhale, tuck your feet. Lift your knees up and down. I'm going to try to do it as quick as you can in 10 cars. So try to do it with your maximum speed and really lengthen your spine here. And let's start to do it together. So 10, keep breathing. 9, as quick as you can. Pull the belly button in. 8, shoulders on top of your elbows. Lengthen your neck and look towards the middle of your fingers here. And 6, 5, 4, belly button in. 3, keep breathing. 2, and last one, slowly bring your knees down, lengthen your legs, come to forearm plank. And now tuck your feet, keep your feet to the center here, shoulders far away from your ears. Now you want to inhale and slowly lift one leg up and down to the opposite side. So 10 times here, as quick as you can actually in 10 counts. And let's start to do it together. So 10, very good. Bring it down with control, 9. Keep breathing, 8. Stabilize your hips. Shoulders on top of your elbows. And six, five, four, belly button in. Three, keep breathing. And two, and last one, and slowly bring your knees down, come to try pose. Lengthen your arms, inhale deeply to your nose, shake your hips a little bit. Exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, allow yourself to lie all the way down on your belly. So, Put your hands next to your chest, close your elbow to the back. Now I want you to inhale and press your whole torso up, hip bones down to the mat. And exhale, bring your torso down, lift your legs up and then come back. We're going to try to do it as quick as you can in 10 cars. So let's do it together. Inhale and exhale. Pull the belly button in. We don't have to lift your legs so far. 
listen to your lower back and really pull the belly button towards the spine. Now if you want to make it easier for your wrist, just put your whole forearms down to the mat and keep breathing. Lengthen your neck always, look down to the mat here and six, five, four, pull the belly button all the way in three, make sure you use the mat that's thick enough so you're going to feel comfortable with your body here, otherwise you can lay on a blanket to make it more comfortable too. Now last one and slowly bring your whole torso down, shake your hips in here, deal it to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth, one more deep breath and exhale, alright and now just lean on one side to do side lift. So forearms down to the mat, shoulders on top of your elbows. And I wanted to inhale, bend your bottom knee and lengthen your top knee, tuck your feet. And I wanted to inhale, hand behind your head, lift your hips up, engage your core, and then bring it down in 10 times with your own breath. Or as quick as you can, just, so just try to do with your own speed, but I wanted to try your best here. And nine, keep breathing. Eight, seven, belly button in, six, five you can always use your hand to press on your hand to make sure that your whole weight is pressing down on your whole forearms not just only at your elbows or your wrist so keep breathing three belly button in two and last one and slowly bring it down inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth now you can start to rotate your wrist a little bit and then reverse and you're gonna go to the other side here so again Bend your bottom knee and tuck your top feet, forearm down to the mat, and then hand behind your head or in front uh, on top of the other hand to make it more balanced on the whole weight on your forearms. Now pull the belly button in, inhale, lift your hips up, exhale, bring it down again as quick as you can in 10 counts. So let's do it together. 10, keep breathing. 9, 8, 7, don't hold your breath, pull the belly button in, and 5, press your feet down. Four, try to reach your hips as high as you can. Two, and last one slowly, bring your hips down and inhale deeply through your nose. Now bring your arm to the side, you can cross your leg or just find a comfortable position to sit here. And then slowly inhale, bring your hands behind your head and then lengthen and then come back for five more times with your own breath. Four, belly button in. Three, keep breathing and two, and last one, and slowly bring it back, hands down, rotate the shoulders fully to four directions, and then reverse. All right, now let's move to the next movement, the next challenge here. So sit along the mat, open your legs to with the pat, and I wanted to inhale slowly, put your hands under your thighs here, lean backward, engage your core, and open your chest. Now try to lengthen your spine here. So I wanted to make sure that you really put your shoulders far away from your ears. Try to lift one leg up and lift the opposite leg up here. Pull the belly button in. Now I wanted to inhale and slowly rise your spine, chin your chest to bring your whole lower back and middle back down to the mat and engage your core. And then you can pull the belly button in, squeeze your thigh to sit back and stabilize on your sitting bones. Now if you want to make it easier, you can always put your hands behind your hips and sort of go down and then lift it up. Engage your core as much as possible and always make sure you put your shoulders far away from your ears. I'm going to try to do it as quick as you can in 10 calves here. Now if you want to make it even more challenging, just bring your arms all the way towards the front and roll your spine down. Activate your feet and use your core to bring it up. So always try to keep your legs parallel to the floor and press your sitting bones down, find a balanced spot on your sitting bones here. I wanted to try to do it together now. So let's do it. 10, pull the belly button in. 9, always keep looking towards the front and one fist distant from your chin to your chest. Exhale, lift and down. Pull the belly button in. 7, keep breathing. And 6, Shoulders far away from your ears. Five, four, put your hands behind your hip if it's easier for you. Three, almost done guys, keep breathing. And two, very good. Now last one, and slowly bring your feet down. Put your, hug your knees to your chest and here, deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good, I already feel like really warm. 
with my body like something burning already uh, so let me know how do you feel by comment below now just lay down to the mat we're gonna do the next movement so arms along your body lift your legs up to 90 degrees activate your feet now inhale and slowly lengthen your legs towards the front and then come back you can always combine the movement of your arms to make it more challenging so lift your arms up and inhale lengthen your arms over your head and your legs towards the front and then come back so if it's too much for you because we want to make sure that you keep your back in neutral here and stabilize your hips so if it's too much for you just bring your arms along your body and lengthen and then come back so i wanted to try to do it together now let's just do it for 10 times or as quick as you can in 10 cars so inhale and exhale come back the lower your legs are the more challenging it is so i wanted to try your best keep breathing make sure you don't arch your back pull the belly button towards the spine two engage your core and to stabilize your hips and make sure you don't imprint your back to the mat just really keep it neutral for five pull the belly button in four belly button in three keep breathing two and last one slowly Hug your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. All right, let's move to the very classic movement in Pilates, the 100. So arms along your body, lift your legs up to 90 degrees. So make sure that you always keep one fist distant from your chin to your chest and lift your shoulders a little bit higher. So you're gonna really protect your neck here. Always use your hand to support your head if it's easier for your neck. Arms along your body and start to pumping your arms. Inhale and exhale. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Use your hand to support your head. Inhale and exhale. And to the other side. And inhale. Lengthen your legs to the front to make it more challenging here. And five. Stick your lower back down to the mat. Really use your arms to pumping your whole arms, not just your wrist. Keep breathing and three. Two, chest up a little bit higher. One feels distant from your chin to your chest. And last one. And slowly bring your torso down, hug your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. Very good, one more deep breath. And exhale. And when you're ready, just open your legs with the part, arms along your body, press your feet down and draw your hips all the way up and slowly bring it down. And five more times with your own breath. We're gonna stretch a little bit with your back, strengthen at the same time, squeezing the thighs and get ready for the next challenge. So keep breathing, inhale and exhale. And three, belly button in, two slowly, each vertebra at a time. Last one, hips balanced, and slowly bring your hips down, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I wanted to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degrees here, and hands over your knees here. Now I wanted to inhale and slowly lengthen your legs towards the front, hold it here, and slowly start to walk and run with the tiny steps here on your whole leg not just your feet but your whole legs here so pull the belly button in you can use your hand to press your hip down to keep your back in neutral pull the belly button all the way in for 10 as quick as you can nine eight shoulder blades down to the mat seven belly button in six keep breathing and five go a little bit quicker if you can four belly button all the way in squeezing the thighs bring your legs a little bit higher if it's easier for you or if you want to make it more challenging bring it down and last one slowly hug your knees to your chest very good guys inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready lean on one side to sit up so sit along the mat and put your whole forearms down to the mat here open your legs with the pat now engage your core and bring your feet towards the center put your shoulders far away from your ears and really look towards the front to protect your neck don't pull your chin up because it's going to cause a lot of pressure on your neck here now lift your hips up and pull the belly button in i wanted to inhale lift one leg up and to the other side you can always keep your feet dorsi flex here so pull the belly button in and 10 keep breathing nine Stabilize your hips, only your legs are moving. Eight and seven, very good. Six, 
keep breathing, belly button in, put your whole forearms down to the mat, five, all right, four, beautiful, and three, keep breathing, two, look towards the front, chin to chest, and last one, and slowly bring your hips down, come to hug your knees to your chest, and inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth, all right, and I'm going to inhale one more time, and exhale, and come to on four position. So, open your legs to be the part. Open your arms, shoulders apart, and now tuck your feet. Put your shoulders far away from your ears, and then inhale, lift your hips all the way up, and exhale, bring it down. I'm going to try to do it for as quick as you can in 10 cars. So, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, come back. And nine, keep breathing. Eight, belly button in. Seven, engage your core as much as possible. Six, and five, four, three. Try to bring your hips as high as you can. And when you shift your weight to the front, make sure your shoulders on top of your elbows. Now, last one, and slowly bend your knees down. I want you to allow yourself to engage your core. Put your shoulders far away from your ears. And now slowly lengthen one leg. I want you to inhale, pull the belly button in, and start to bring your knee towards the um, elbows and then lengthen towards the back as quick as you can in 10 cows so let's start to do it together each 10 times 10 cows each side and before we do it make sure that your hips stabilize here facing down to the mat so don't lift one hip higher than the other one just really control your hips here now let's start to do it together so together so 10 pull the belly button in nine belly button all the way toward the spine and seven keep breathing six five four three two and last one slowly bring your knee down to the opposite side make sure you always put your shoulders far away from your ears and on top of your elbows now to the other side here so lift it up and lengthen and knee bend and lengthen and do it together here so ten keep breathing nine eight seven put your whole forearms down to the mat and five Four, lengthen your leg all the way towards the back. And two, now last one, slowly bring your knee down. Come to try pose. Shake your hips a little bit, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, allow yourself to lie all the way down on your belly. So, hands over your head, and lengthen your legs, open your legs to be the parts here. Now, Slide back to make sure your shoulders far away from your ears. Lift your legs up, lift your arms above the mat and start to pump in your arms and opposite leg like we're swimming here. So use your whole arms, use your whole leg to pump. Stabilize your hips. Pull the belly button in. Hold it here for 10, 9, I mean keep moving. 8, 7, 6, keep breathing. 5, 4, squeeze in the thighs. Activate your back muscles. Two, and last one, slowly bring your whole torso down. Inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. One more deep breath, and exhale. And when you're ready, I wanted to allow yourself to bring your hands towards the chest. Close your elbow to the back, put your shoulder far away from your ears. Now lengthen and lift your legs up just above the mat. So really listen to your lower back here. You don't have to lift your legs so high. Really lift, lift it to the point that you still feel comfortable with your lower back here. And I wanted to inhale, open your leg to the side and then come back. Open, come back for 10. Shoulders far away from your ears and look down to the mat. Nine. Pull the belly button all the way towards the spine. Seven, six, activate your feet so you can dorsal flex or you can plantar flex. Up to you as long as you activate it. So keep breathing in five, four, three, two, squeeze in the thighs to bring it back to the center. And last one, slowly bring your legs down. Inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I wanted to lift it up, forearms towards the front of the chest. Pull the belly button in and tuck your feet here. Now lift your hips up so you're going to keep your back in neutral position. Now inhale and lift your whole torso up, come to full plank here. Now I wanted to inhale and start to bring your hips from left to right for 10. As quick as you can, let's do it together. 9, keep breathing. 8, shoulders on top of your elbows. 7, 6, 5, 4, keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Engage your core to support your lower back. And two, and last one, and slowly 
Bring your knees down. Allow yourself to lie all the way down to the mat. Shake your hips and go deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. Inhale. And exhale. And the last challenge for the workout today. I wanted to allow yourself to put your shoulders far away from your ears and lift your whole torso up, come to forearm plank again. And now this time, I wanted to engage your core and slowly bring your legs as wide as you can. Now slowly bend your knees and then lengthen and lift your hips up and down. 10 sets like this and then let's do it together now. So let's do it. Knee bend, lengthen, hips up and down. Knee bend and lift up and down. Keep breathing, pull the belly button in for eight more times with your own breath seven now try to do it as quick as you can six keep breathing five shift your weight to the front look towards the middle of your fingers and shoulders on top of your elbows and then lift it up as high as you can three two almost done guys you are amazing last one and slowly bring it down come to tripos open your knees as wide as you can inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth inhale and exhale and now slowly walk your arm to one side hold it here for five four we're gonna cool down a little bit before we complete the workout today three two and last one, slowly come back to the other side for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and 5. That's me five times, so come back to the center. All right, now come to on for position and rotate the eyes on the elbows towards each other. Dip your shoulders down between your arms and then lift it up for 5, 4, belly button in, 3, keep breathing, 2, and last one. And now articulate your spine, shoulders far away from your ears. Look towards the front, cat and core. And round your spine, chin, your chest. Pull the belly button in. I'm gonna try to do it for five more times. Take your own breath. So if you feel comfortable with your neck, look all the way towards the ceiling. Otherwise, just look towards the front. And then round your spine, each vertebra at a time. Upper spine a little bit higher. Pull the belly button in, squeeze in the thighs. For three, Contract your pelvic floor muscles. Two. Inhale. And exhale. And last one. Round. And then come back. And slowly bring it back to the center. Shake your hips a little bit. And then slowly allow yourself to sit. And open your legs as wide as you can. Dorsi flex with your feet. Pull the belly button in. Now I wanted to inhale and you can put your hands on your thighs, open your elbows wider like this, shoulders far away from your ears. Dorsi flex with your feet. Now make sure you feel soft in your knees a little bit if it's easier for you to lengthen your spine here. I'm gonna try to do it for five more times here. So five, inhale, lengthen and shoulders down. Four, three, keep breathing, two, and last one, lengthen your leg as much as you can and flex forward slightly. Pull the belly button in for your hamstring and stretching here. Hold it here for five, four, belly button in, three, feel your hips and your hamstring, two, and last one, slowly walk back. Narrow your legs a little bit if you need to, otherwise just open as wide as you can. Really listen to your body here. Put your hand on opposite thigh, look towards the opposite and slowly Bring it back to the center to the opposite side and come back to the center one more time inhale and exhale and one more to the opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center very good now you can cross your leg or you can just bring your legs back to knee bending to make it feel easier for you pull the belly button in hands and your knees here inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth Open your arm to the side, and lean on one side to do side bending and then come back to the opposite side and back to the center and five more times here each side with your own breath. So keep breathing. Four, belly button in to the other side and three more times with your own breath to the opposite side and last two more times each side here. And the last one, go a little bit further, hold it here for three, two, 
and one come back to the other side hold it here for three two and one come back to the center and hands down rotate your shoulders again and then reverse now rotate your head inhale halfway exhale halfway and then reverse slowly come back and then one more time here and reverse and slowly bring it back to the center inhale and exhale one more deep breath and exhale and that's the work of today thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed it now let me know how do you feel by commenting below and I'm gonna see you tomorrow for the next workout. Now, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to see notification every day when I upload new video. I'm gonna see you later. Bye bye.